Hey everyone, so Amazon has introduced two new devices. Actually, they have upgraded one of their current device and they introduced a new product that's not really made by them, but it has two of their key features built in. So the Fire TV Cube has gotten an upgrade. It's in the second generation. The first generation Fire TV Cube was actually lagging behind in some of the features compared to the Fire Stick 4K. So with this new Fire TV Cube second generation, it's actually in a class by itself as far as performance. So now you can really see the separation between the Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Stick 4K, and the new Fire TV Cube. Now the big difference between the Fire TV Stick 4K and the new Fire TV Cube is the processor. No longer are they on par as far as the processor. So now it's on six cores versus the first generation Fire TV Q, which puts it above the Fire Stick 4K. Of course, all the features that was built into the Fire TV Cube is still there. That means the Amazon Voice Assistant is still in this box. But they have increased the picture quality specs to more match the Fire Stick 4K. Now those picture quality specs that was missing on the first generation was the HDR+, HLG, and Dolby Vision. So the next item that was released today was a soundbar, but the soundbar was not made by Amazon themselves. The company that made the soundbar is actually Anchor, and the name of the soundbar is called Nebula. So the cool thing about this soundbar is the fact that it has both of Amazon two main features built in which is the Fire Stick and the Amazon Voice Assistant. So not only can you stream your favorite movies and TV shows from the soundbar, but you can also get your voice requests from that soundbar too. Now the soundbar is a 2.1 setup, which means left, right, and a subwoofer. But unlike traditional 2.1 setup where you have the soundbar and a subwoofer separately, this soundbar actually have the subwoofer built in. So you're only dealing with one item. That's the only thing you have to connect. And actually they say this soundbar has dual subwoofer and it has what they call an exclusive bass up technology. So that helped produce the bass out of the soundbar because like I said, most 2.1 setup has the subwoofer separate because that's what produces the bass. So you really don't get heavy bass from the soundbar itself. But according to them with this bass up technology, you should be able to feel the bass just like you would if you have a regular subwoofer on the floor. So the total output of the soundbar is 100 watts. Each subwoofer putting out 30 and the regular speaker is putting out 20. So 60, 40, there's your 100. Now the connectivity on this soundbar includes Wi-Fi all the way up to AC, Bluetooth 4.2, one optical in, one HDMI ARC port, one 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, Okay, so those are the latest and greatest from Amazon. If you're interested in any of these products, the links are in the description to Gordon. Get more details on them and purchase them if you want to. And I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.